Hi, this is Crescent Debris, and this is a time lapse video of me drawing Black Suit Spider Man. And this drawing was a suggestion by one of my friends after I sent him my Wolverine drawing, which is one of his favorite characters. Uh, he texted me back saying, Black Suit Spider Man, please. So I figured I'd give it a try. So here in the beginning, you're going to see me doing a lot of a lot of changes, a lot of tweaks and things like that. Uh, Spider-Man isn't a character I've drawn. If I did, it would have been, you know, when I was in kindergarten or something like that. So this isn't a this isn't a normal thing for me. So which is part of the reason I wanted to draw it. It's a little bit of a challenge because Spider-Man's a character that's usually drawn in all kinds of contorted poses, which is actually part of the challenge of doing this is because I figure any pose that I can come up with somebody's probably already done it um, unless I'm just putting him in some kind of some sort of stance that's not Spider-Man so I mean you know a lot of times yeah I'm trying to do something unique but at the same time it can't be out of character so I mean I'm, I'm stuck with the Spider-Man throwing his web, swinging in the air. I stuck with that, but I did want to draw it. Something that was maybe not a, an exact pose that you've seen before. So I ended up hopping online, looking at pictures of Black Suit Spider-Man. But not for the purpose of finding something to replicate. It's to see what other people have done so that I can make sure that I don't do the same thing. So... That's pretty much what I was doing. Like, just do some uh, image search and look at all the different ways they've got him swinging through the air and be like, not like that, not like that. So this is kind of what I came up with. Um, and I honestly don't do foreshortening enough. A lot of times when I draw characters, I draw the full body, but it's, it's kind of, um, I don't know. You could say it's a concept art or... I'm not exactly sure how you'd, you'd want to describe it, but I started doing that a lot because I really wanted to practice drawing the full character. I didn't want to uh, get to where I was lazy about drawing feet or legs. So that's where I started drawing, you know, head to toe. And uh, I don't know if I've, I've not really done too much of the foreshortening, which it's really cool. And I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to do that with Spider-Man, so... Um, as far as the drawing itself, you've seen me make quite a lot of changes. Um, I spent some time on his hand. I wasn't, I couldn't remember how he had his hand, the the middle and ring finger. I didn't know if it was they were tucked under tightly or if you know they were touching lower down on the palm. It was quite a few things I was thinking about. Um, and also when I was doing this video. I was actually commentating throughout the whole thing in a, you know, real time. And so I do quite a bit of pausing here and there, I guess. Uh, but this drawing did take me longer. I think most of these ones that I've been drawing have been about an hour, and this was an hour and a half. And then actually after this video ends, I do a little bit more work because I came back to it. It still wasn't. I still didn't love it like when I got done. I was like, there's something just kind of bland about it. And I'm not I'm not saying that when I my final final version is anything super spectacular, but I ended up adding more highlights, uh adding some more definition here and there, like in his shoulder, and I ended up adding some movement. I put little distortion lines and all that, which I'll I'll show that at at the end uh maybe a comparison of the two of where i ended the video and where i ended up so it might have been closer to two hours with all that said and done um so well i guess there was also a lot of shading in this that was something that was kind of cool it was like here's here's a character that's solid black but still make it where you can see what's going on so it was pretty cool now, as far as references go, as I say, the only reference I used was looking up pictures not to draw. 
and the spider logo that's on his chest. Um, since I wasn't like uh, a Spider-Man fanatic, that's not something that's ingrained in my brain of what that logo looked like. So I did have to look that up. But as far as everything else, that's all just uh, whatever's in my brain. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.